When we write Firebase Cloud functions, we normally do it in plain JavaScript, but this tends to make them hard to debug. What if we could actually write them in TypeScript and also throw in Webpack to make them a little more modular? In this quick lesson, I'm going to show you how to set up your cloud function environment for TypeScript and Webpack, and then we'll deploy a few cloud functions to Firebase. I first want to point out that there's an article on Medium that was the main inspiration for this video, so I'll add a link to that in the description. And if you're brand new to cloud functions, I recommend checking out any of the blue videos on my channel, which are specifically focused on Firebase cloud functions. So to get started, I'm assuming you have an existing project that you're working on. Then you'll bring up the command line and run Firebase init functions. Then select all the default options during the project setup. This is going to create a new directory in the root of the project called functions, and that's an isolated node environment where we can build our cloud functions. So the next step is to cd into that directory, and then we'll create a new directory called source, and we'll put a file in there called index.ts instead of index.js. Then we can go ahead and remove the index.js file for now. Webpack will actually generate the index.js file automatically based on our underlying TypeScript code, and that's the file that actually gets deployed to Firebase. Now let's open up the package.json file, then we can install TypeScript and Webpack, and we'll specify them only for the development environment. So your final node environment should look something like this. Then we can add a tsconfig file. Nothing really special here. You can go with the default options and customize it any way you want. Then the last step is to create the Webpack config. This will tell Webpack how to compile our TypeScript to a single index.js file that can be deployed to Firebase. Check out the link in the description for more detail on this code. So now we can actually start building cloud functions. We can do this by creating directories inside the source directory based on the concerns that we want to separate. In this example, I'm separating my email cloud functions from my images cloud functions. So now we can start writing cloud functions just like we normally would. The only difference is we can use TypeScript and we also use the Webpack import syntax. If you've developed Angular apps before, this should look very familiar because it's the exact approach used by the Angular CLI. In this example, I just created a couple of cloud functions that don't do anything named update image and resize image. And just for this example, we'll go ahead and add one more useless cloud function in the email directory. So now we need to register these functions in the main index.ts file in the source directory. This process is very similar to an ng module. We just import the functions that we want to deploy and then register them in this file. Any constant that's exported in this file will be picked up by Webpack and that'll be included in our main index.js file that gets deployed. So now that we have our functions defined, we can go ahead and deploy them. There's only one extra step. We just have to call the Webpack command, which will compile the code into that index.js file. If we check it out, we can see it's mostly a bunch of Webpack code, but our actual functions that we wrote are embedded in there. And the final step is to deploy to Firebase by running Firebase deploy only functions. And after a few seconds, we should get a confirmation on the command line. And if we go into the Firebase console, we should see these three functions there as well. Overall, this gives you a much more easy to maintain and debug environment for writing cloud functions. That's it for TypeScript and Firebase Cloud Functions. If this video helped you, please like and subscribe. And if you want help building your own custom cloud functions, consider becoming a pro member at angularfirebase.com. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.